So are you the type of person that gets wet feet really easy at the sign of any bad news that has to do with your cryptocurrency? Well, I'm gonna show you a way to force yourself to huddle with an Ethereum smart contract. So I'm gonna to switch to the browser real quick and this requires using a plugin called MetaMask for Chrome. Install it and then you will see once you load it up, I, by default, it will, won't have this page yet, but you wanna choose the Robson test network if you wanna follow along and see how this works in a test environment. All right, after you do that, you're just going to click on buy or the uh, there's, a, there's a, a faucet where you can request this these ether and they're all fake. It's not real, it only takes like 30 to 60 seconds for it to show up in your account here. After that, you need to visit remix.ethereum.org. I'm going to provide you uh, with a link to this smart contract. The actual smart contract that makes everything work and function is right here. All right, so let me just increase the browser just a little bit more so you can see exactly what is happening because I'm going to describe pretty much each line here. So first we have the contract, we're calling it a capsule, kind of like a time capsule. And we define an address, so this is a type, and we're gonna get, name it owner. Next, we have an unsigned integer, and we're gonna name that one amount. This is the amount of ether that you want to force yourself to hold and not be able to touch. Next is the very important part. I forgot to add a comment here. We have an unsigned integer of unlock time, and it's bound to the current time right now plus in three minutes, this could be also hours as soon here. This is from the official Solidity documentation. It could be days, weeks, or even years. All right, so just for testing purposes, I'm leaving it at just, you know what, I'll make that two minutes. All right, so next we have a function, and this right here gets called once the contract is created. It's the name of the actual contract and we set the owner to the message sender or the person who created it. And so that stores just an address and then an amount. And this is also specified when we run it over here in a little bit under value. Next, we create a modifier and a modifier is just something that we can place onto an existing function as we are here. And we're requiring two different conditions. And this is very important. First, we're saying whoever is trying to access this send function, because we're applying this modifier onto the send function, that they must be equal to the owner. So that's what prevents you know, somebody else with a different Ethereum address from trying to come in and hijack your, you know, your, your Ethereum. And then we also require that unlock time, which is defined up here, is less than the current time. So if we say, two minutes from now, and I try to access this send function where it's maybe just now plus a minute after it was created, it's not going to work. As long as these two conditions value or validate to true, then we run whatever is inside this function, which is simply self-destruct. That means it's going to basically change the state of the smart contract in such a way that it will no longer function. And then we pass an owner and any of the Ethereum that is being stored in that smart contract, which is the value that you specify when you create it, will get dispersed back into your account. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot real quick. You have to make sure that you're currently connected to your Robson test net right here, and you actually have some ether to test this out with. And notice it says account that it's not showing up. So let's just refresh this real quick. All right, now we have our account that's showing up and we're gonna put the amount that we actually want to force ourselves to hold and not be able to touch or sell or anything. So we have 1.5, I'm just going to put in one. Next, we hit create, and then this little window shows up. The amount is one, as we specified, which is currently equivalent to 475 bucks. And then we hit submit. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. And remember, this is just a test network. This isn't actually happening on the Alive Ethereum blockchain. So we see it has one pending transaction, and momentarily, it's going to show up here 
and I will try to access the send function. And you'll see what will happen, and then we'll access it after two minutes, and you'll see that our Ethereum will show back up. Once this approves, this is going to change from 1.556 to 0 0.556. All right. All right. So here it is. There it is. It updated to 0 0.55 and it's not actually six because it does take a little bit of ether uh, for the uh, the miners to actually mine it. And so now what we have is the amount and we which will provide you with the current amount and then send. So this is the function that we want to call to destroy the contract and get our Ethereum back. Now it hasn't been two minutes. So watch what happens when I click on send. All right, it's giving us an error. This basically means that right here, one of these conditions was not met. Now I am using message.sender. I'm using the same account. So that one actually value, you know, evaluated to true. This one, however, did not. So I'm going to wait over two minutes. All right, I'm fairly certain that two minutes has been up, although I'm a terrible judge of time at times. So I'm going to hit send. There we go. This will now show up, and we're going to hit submit. Notice it's showing the max transaction fee. It will cost just a tiny bit in order to get your Ethereum back. Submit. And we'll see momentarily, once this transaction confirms, that we will have our 1.5 Ethereum back. And that, my friends, is how you use a smart contract in a really clever way to deal with a sort of a psychological problem that some of us have to deal with. By the way, I used the same exact smart contract over a month ago when Ethereum was $300. And I stored about 50 bucks in there. And this is also last month when there's a lot of there's a few big bad news stories regarding Ethereum. I bet a lot of people got out early when they probably knew deep down it was still gonna be fine and it was gonna shoot right back up. All right, so check out Corsetro.com. Just earlier this month, I released an Ethereum smart contract development course that was 100% free. I'll try to remember to link it here, but it's also available at Corsetro.com. All right, I'll see you guys real soon. I have been working really hard on that new course, which is using Electron to create desktop apps. I'm almost ready to upload it, I think maybe a day or two, and we'll be golden. All right, see you guys real soon.